Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Um, today we are gonna be live with Clyde Beffa. Clyde is our Bar Bordeaux guru. He's our co-owner, co-founder, and he's a lot of fun. So he's picked out, I think, nine. We've got nine wines here today. Um, and surprisingly for um, Clyde, they're all they're all young. I think the oldest we've got here is uh, 2015. And if you know Clyde, he he loves the older vintages. So this is kind of a fun departure for him. Um, I see he's here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Thanks for joining us. Um, there he is. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Didn't I just see you last week? Yeah, I know. I lucky me. I can hardly hear you. Oh. Is that better? Perfect. Perfect. So That's nine That's wines, and, and, and they are young. Um, they're all, I was just saying, they're all uh, 2015 and above, right? Right, right, and uh, which is unusual. But, um, but they're wines that have just come in recently. Uh, mm -hmm. And I actually have some left bank wines today, too, not just all Merlot based. Just, Although you've got some. Just There's the first some. five of Merlot. Yeah. Okay. So how are, you, how are you today? Good. It's been busy today. Um, yeah. But, um, and uh, I, I kind of broke these down. The first two wines we're going to have are value wines, okay? They're under 20, 20 bucks. And, and I was looking at them. They just came in. Uh, they're from... For the first one's from Castillon, you know, Cook yeah. Castillon, the right. You have that one. It's the uh, Parison. Yeah. Yeah, that's there. Parison Cuvée uh, Provence. Uh, first time we've carried this wine. I've never heard of the wine before. And it's really good. Yeah. Does it? You see the big sticker on the side? Nine yeah. points. It's got to be good, right? Yeah. So. It's kind of um, kind of incense-y. It's got like a, it's got lots of fruit, but then this really interesting little incense at the end. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah. And uh, I tasted this wine uh, oh, about six months ago, probably probably eight months ago, because it takes so long to get it. Um, and I got this wine's really good, and it's fifteen bucks, and it's ninety-two points, whatever that means, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then it came in. It's ninety percent Merlot, and uh, it's really lush forward, easy mm -hmm. to easy to drink wine. Two thousand sixteen which is a, a very good vintage. Um, mm -hmm. We really like the, the 16s. They have a little bit more structure than the 15s and maybe even more than the 18s and 20s. Yeah, lots of nice acid on here, for sure. Mm -hmm. Which is a hallmark of 16, right? Yeah, I would see that that wine is really, not a wine to put away in your cellar for a long time, but in the next five years you know, or so, uh, easy to drink, uh, it's a good, Probably a Tuesday night wine, maybe. Huh? Tuesday yeah, night. burger wine, for sure. Red, red tamales night. Mm. Uh, the, the second one, the okay. Tour de Dumont Moulin. You, you got that right there? Yes. Right. Um, and we've had older vintages of this wine, um, like the 1990 and stuff like that. And Fronsac is another, you know, Castellano and Fronsac are the two big hot. Right. And uh, the, so this one. This is really good too. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's, it's more quite spicy and peppery, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it's, it's 2018 vintage now, okay. Uh, mm. Very spicy. I get some, some chocolate notes to it at the end too, and lots of ripe fruit. It's yeah. Really I mean, this one's only 19.99, so that's a lot of wine for 19.99. And uh, this wine probably could, you can drink it now if you want to open it ahead of time a little bit, or have it with something like a stew. Uh, yeah, it'd be great with a stew. Uh, right now, um, the wine is still showing a little bit of tannin in the back, but you know, it's 18. It's just and it just got here, so mm -hmm. it's baby. I would probably decant this. Well, yeah, you can decant it. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Decant, not decant. There's big questions on that. Um, I got. I'm using. Uh, 
my Coravan here. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it won't run out of juice halfway through the thing. Mine ran out of juice, so I had to open them. Um, but they love you. So this is number three, the Beausoleil. Yeah, Beausoleil. Now, the thing about this wine is nobody's ever heard of the property. Didn't we taste this on an Instagram Live a while ago? And decide, that wasn't that how you decided to take them in? The same vintage? No, it wasn't 15. I don't remember the vintage. But no. I think this was the one where you we sort of. Really? Uh, maybe. You remember, you're much younger than I. I can't remember that much. You've uh, got a pretty good memory. Um, just for old wine. <laughs> And, and, and birth years. Mm -hmm. we had some yeah, I remember we, we had, good, had an we episode. We had good birth year wines last, uh, last week at the, at the little Peruvian restaurant. Yeah, we had some amazing wines. And so what we're doing here is these are both right bank. Uh, and this is Beausoleil, like you said, Beausoleil. It's a small property in Pomerol that we've only carried like a, a few vintages of. Um, and, you know, I've never seen where it is or anything. Um, Bardo, everybody knows about Bardo, especially if you're with K&L because Elaine Garçon Levesque comes and visits frequently right. to, to the stores and that's the second one. But uh, Beausoleil is Pomerol. And both of these wines are 15s. Um, the thing about right bank 15s, they're very soft and fruity in the forward. We'll see how they are. Um, I, I did taste a couple of these wines last night just to see how they were doing. And they, they showed well. Um, but the Beausoleil, it's only twenty nine ninety nine, And that's not very expensive for Pomerol. Um, the, and the 15 vintage in Pomerol, Pomerol's always Vintage. Every 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 year is good vintage for Pomelo. It's a small a small area, but real plummy in the nose. I get um, mm -hmm. and a lot of texture. Got 90, 93 to ninety five points from our buddy James Suckling. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of body, a lot of yeah. sort of an herbal finish. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't think it's. He can, he says it's very muscular. I I think the wine's pretty soft and easy to easy That's, to yeah. drink. Now nice. it'll go for a long time, um, but I think it's a pretty typical 2015. And like I said, for thirty dollars, it's hard to find the you know Pomerols for thirty when the next door neighbor here is probably three hundred dollars. You know? Yeah. Yeah, this is great. And it's got a lot of, I think, a lot of red fruit, really still very primary and young and bright. It does have lots of red fruit in it also, um, which is odd, but I, what's the blend in it, did they say? Uh, nope. 95% 95 Merlot, and it's only a four hectare pro property. Hmm. Um, so, you know, compared to the last one we'll have is Maine, that's 51 hectares, one piece. Yeah. But the Beausoleil, nice, easy drinking Cabernet Franc. There's only 5%, so uh, I don't, it seems like it has more Cabernet Franc to me. But, yeah, you get the herbal notes to it on the end. But this, I think this would be good with a steak, a weeknight steak. Yeah, we probably, we can graduate up to Wednesday nights with this. This is like tonight, okay. Tonight, yeah, or wine Wednesday. I'm having pork chops tonight, so they'll be all right with pork chops. Yeah. Um, We're having pizza tonight, but you know. <laughs> you have pizza. Right? pizza. Oh. When I do these, I send the kids out for pizza with my husband. Uh, okay. Get them out of the house. We don't have a pizza parlor near our house. We're out oh, in, that's too bad. We're in the <laughs> middle of nowhere. So, uh, okay, now, Bard O, which is, I mean, how many vintages have we, we must have tasted on these Instagrams? Eight vintages of Bard O. And know. they're all good. Yeah, and four, and uh, one, and oh six, mm -hmm. and um, and this is fifteen and sixteen, two very different style wines. To, and I think you'll see. Uh, but so Bar I don't have I don't have fifteen. I don't know if you got my note. I have I have sixteen, and then the okay. wrong. Yeah, right. I, you know what? You didn't have the fifteen there. It's the same label as the sixteen. They just changed one. Yeah. Um, 
and it's the same supplies so about 80 20 mm-hmm. um, 20 Cabernet Franc but it's funny because you're, you're you know the 16 because but you're not tasting the 15 the 15 is much softer easier to drink uh, very silky and and the Cabernet Franc really shows through here because it's almost a red like you were saying like previous wine it's a red rose red fruit usually you associate you know the right bank with more black fruit, blackberries and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But this and the one, 16 definitely has that. I'm not yeah. for sure. It's that black fruit. Yeah, that one has the black fruit, but this one has the red fruit. And huh. it's, it's softer and easier to drink, the 15. It's kind of, kind of like Beausoleil, but it has a little bit more guts. I mean, you're also talking $45 a bottle, too. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, th- this property is, this property is right well, you were there. Uh, did we, yeah, we went there. With you were there, yeah. yeah. And right across the store, St. Christoph, up in the hill was Trollong Mondo. Yeah. Uh, where we stayed. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and uh, what? And and Pavi is right over the hill. And so it, it's in, it's in, it's a good area. And they've done a really great job. Her husband has done well with all the different wines, mm-hmm. Boesia and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and she was great. She was such a lovely. A lovely personality. We should bring her back when, when we can do such things. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's happening with the, we're, ha- we're, we're supposed to be doing the uh, UGC. Yeah, I know. In uh, January. Um, so th- those are, and I have one more right banker to try here, which will be the sixth thing which you have. Yes, I have that. Same label, 16. Bard O. Um, like I said, now 16 vintage in general is, is to me one of the better vintages in um, in Bordeaux of late. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's not nine, it's not 10, but it's um, very good. I kind of like the 16s, maybe a little bit better than the uh, 19s or. You know, but this, uh, but this wine, like you're saying, it's black fruit, right? Mm-hmm. Cassis, a little bit of coffee, violets. And and I and I I was tasting this, and it has a lot, much more power in the nose, and much much bigger mouth feel. Mm. It has some tannin in the back a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I think that I was saying, this is a wine. You know, you buy both of them and you drink the 15s in the next few years, whatever. And then this wine probably I could wait another five years or so. Uh, yeah, well, I, I drank it recently with the confit and I um, decanted it for about an hour or so. And after, just, just with a good hour, it started to open up beautifully. So if you want, if you can't wait, give it some, give it some air. Yeah, yeah. You, you told me about your duck confit. Your friend made it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and it went well with the duck confit, but the duck confit is rich. And, yeah. And this, but this has great acid. It's got, like you said, that little tannic grip. So it's perfect. It's a wine you're going to put away for a little while. Mm-hmm. Um, even though it's right bank, but yeah, like you said, you can, you can drink these. See, most people are drinking the wine of the younger side. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, um, they're just used to doing that. And I tend to like to drink wines on the older side. Um, right. In fact, my wife is right now drinking some 99 Fantasieu. You know? Oh, great. Yeah. And I said, she called and said, can, can I open this? And I said, not any of the old ones. And she says, so this is 99. I go, that's one of the new ones. So. <laughs> is she happy that the Insulite is back? I saw that. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we, we have more Insulite than, than um, Frank Millet has Insulite. <laughs> Oh, good, because everybody loves it. So yeah, yeah, and because another shipment just came in yesterday to. Uh, oh wow! Besides this one, but we were out for months. Yeah. So, so yeah, we're going to go. The we're, we're actually going to go to the right bank. Let's see. Can you guys see that? There's kind of a glare there. It, 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 that gold is, is, is shiny there. This wine. 
Jacques told me a lot about this wine that I didn't have any idea that you did. Uh -huh. mm. There's a there is a five star hotel in the Marais area of um, of Paris called the Pavillon de la Reine, mm. um, and this wine must have been made for. I mean, you know, must have been made for them. Uh, it's from Poyac. I mean, uh, and, and for twenty bucks or twenty five bucks. Yeah. Poyac for 25. Remember, we have the Gaudin, the Godin, the yeah. 29 to 39. Well, this was only 25. This is another wine that I tasted. You know, I get these samples from Europe, um, from Bordeaux, and uh, it, it came in, and I tasted it. I go, geez, and I think I brought Alex in. I said, taste this wine. And he goes, wow, this is pretty good wine. And I go, this is like $25, and it's Poyac. I said, forget the name, I, you know. Yeah. I have no clue, you know, and, and, and if it's a property or not, or if it's actually named after that thing. It says, it doesn't say, oh, it says Grand Bon, big deal. Okay. But when we tasted the wine, and remember we tasted it down there last week, I think. Yeah. And it's actually showing, real, it's showing even better now because I, I've had it open for about an hour. So at first it was really a lot of bright cranberry, but now you get the minerally and the, the deeper fruit and some spice. It's really what nice. A, what a wonderful nose. Yeah. It brings me back to my Poyak days, right? I mean, yeah, it's, oh, boy, it's really showing well. Um, a lot of graphite. Now this has 64% this has Cabernet and, and then a little bit of Merlot and Petit mm -hmm. Um Now it's 2019, one of the first 2019s. Uh, which I really like a lot, the, the red wines of 2019. Do you think they're good on both banks, or, or do you have a preference? They're both, I think they're good all over. Yeah. The big problem with 2019 is it followed 2018, which the prices were very high. So in 2019, the, the market wasn't, and it was coming up during COVID, you know, 2020, so they lowered all the, the very nice owners properties lowered their prices to to reflect well they were worried because it everything was thrown off there was no tastings back then you know um, and we went in june tasting the, the the 20s but this in the 19s nobody tasted them they were worried they, they put good prices out but they put very little quantity out hmm. so we had almost no quantity to sell and we were we were sold out until recently, when I started rebuying some of the 19s, um, we were down to like $10,000 of, of pre-arrivals of 19. And now, we, but you know, now the COVID thing has kind of passed and, and all of a sudden the prices are going sky high. And Oh no. Yeah, so where we were, you know, and they're going sky high because the 2020s came out at a little bit higher price. So, you know, if they come out higher, then they go back and all the do all the vintages, you know, yeah. back all the way. But, um, but, but you can still get the there, there's some great buys. If anybody bought the 2019s on premiere of the of the big names, you got a, a deal because the prices are like 30 or 40 percent higher in some of the money. Hmm. And we're just starting to bring them out. You know, we were really focusing right now on the 2018s a little bit because. Those were the wines that scored at you know, James Sucknoon and Janice and Anson, and you know, they scored Ishan Lalan, Leah Vapothere. Ciron 18 got number one wine of the year in, uh, was it Wine Enthusiast or something like that? Mm. That's, that's amazing, you know, for a wine that's 30, $39. Yeah. Well, they, we did, we tasted all the 18s last week, and they were tasting great. I mean, I think it's just a, it's an accessible vintage, right? And it's easy to drink, <laughs> sweet, lovely. Yeah. But this, this, this is a very good wine, this Pavillon. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it has so much sweetness and richness, and, mm -hmm. and it has a little bit of, you know, the Poyac grip and everything. There's some graphite in here, too. I yeah, think. I get graphite, for sure. The minerality. There's a lot of structure, but sweet fruit. And, boy, this wine, you really want to take it home and drink it right now, but it's still got a little can in the back. I'm I'm sky high on on this wine, but I can't tell you much about it because 
I have to go to the hotel and stay at the hotel to see you. <laughs> there you go. But it's worth it, you know. It won't be the Opus song, but it's not too far away. You know? <laughs> well, I love this next one. And it's oh, we're back to home now. Canton, Maryland. Yeah. yeah. One of our favorites since 1949. And 18, like we said, is, is just drinking so well right out of the gate. Yeah. Now, Canton, Merle was a Cordier product for years, uh, exclusive. And, and it, it, it is not now, it's one of the last ones that they let go. Um, it is that 100 acre block uh, that uh, they, they've been making such great wines ever since Bill Eaton and Green came and started making the wines really back in the like 2001, 2002, somewhere in that way. Uh, and he was, he makes year after year, he makes really good wines in 2000. 18, I mean, sure, he gets 94 points, but you know, everybody, everything gets 94 points now. <laughs> uh, real mm. savory wine, I think, spicy. Yeah, cigar spice and leather. But lots of sweet fruit, too. A little bit of tannin on the back. This is one of those 18s that you're going to have to put, uh, put away for a little while. Um, the I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of that, the, the iron. Yeah, the iron. Velvet fist in an iron glove. Mm. Velvet fist in an iron glove. That's the opposite of what he's supposed to say. It's the velvet uh, glove. You know, uh, iron, iron fist, fist in a velvet glove. But I said in the 18 vintage was just the opposite. But this is a wine that's kind of showing that. Uh, uh, a wine that just came in, what, what, it's like $40. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah, Canton Merrill's always in that low range, and, and, and we buy almost every vintage of this wine. We just uh, bought some more 2010, which we think is one of the great vintages. 16, a great vintage. Um, 06, Canton Merrill, fantastic, much better than 05, which hmm. you, would, you wouldn't think that. But even Van Breen says that's the case. You know? um, so. Some nice rose and floral notes there too. Put it away for a, oh, just a little bit. Okay. Super pretty. Okay, so that was the, another 18 yeah. we've got now. Now we're going over to the north a little more. Santa Santa Step. Step. And we we don't have that many bottles of Santa Step that we usually taste at these other things. Maybe they're when they're older. Um, the first one is a wine that's the third wine of Calon Sigur. You know, there's Calon Sigur, then there's Marquis de Calon, and then there's Saint Estep de Calon. You have mm -hmm. this there, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine, and and it's and it's another eighteen vintage. It just just came off the boat, all right. And then we'll finish with uh, one of my favorite properties of late. And one of Ralph's big favorite properties, maybe Gary too, I think, uh, Main A, um, a, a property that we should visit more often. We've only been there a couple of times uh, in, in Santa Estef. But first, Cowan Seagur. Everybody knows that Cowan Seagur is one of the, the great properties in, in, um, in Santa Estef. Um, the wine, uh, I, I don't know when they started making this wine. I, I got to believe in the last 15 years or so, I, you know, all of a sudden third wines are becoming popular. The third, mm. uh, and at, at 29, well, the first wine's probably a hundred and something, and the second wine's 40 something. This wine is smelling really. I mean, it has a lot of savory characteristics. Also, it's going absolutely, on. yeah, a lot of mineral, a lot of mineral, and baking. I get baking spice too. <laughs> It's really brooding, very savory. Yeah, and it's the fruit of the 18 vintage with the austerity somewhat of the Santa Step. This is not there at all. Uh, Calon Seagor tends to make wines that are a little bit more elegant. Mm. Their buddies Montrose or um, Cosas Grinnell. It's also yeah. hard, that's hard to find when you're driving there too. So, um, but. $30, I think it's pretty good. 
thirty dollars. It is good, yeah. The the last one. It's very intriguing. The last one is mayonnaise. I mean, the label's the same for how long? A long, okay, mayonnaise, and it's it's kind of uh, I would say the Rodney Dangerfield of uh, of fantasy. <laughs> Gets Don't no get respect. no respect. He gets no respect. Right? <laughs> and, and and it's one parcel. It's one block. And it, it overlooks the Jerome. I mean, perfect location. But it it, it never demands the, the, the you know the pre uh, selling pre arrival. We don't sell very much pre arrival, but when it comes in, and I'm just looking, we have 05 we just got in, 09. I think we tasted it. We tasted 09, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful wine, 09, 05, 09. And uh, I'm looking at, and it just arrived, uh, another container just arrived today mm. with 1996 Mene on it. Oh, wow. So that's going to be fun. 25 year old Mene. Uh, I'm hoping it'll be in the stores another week or so. But the 15 Mene, 15 and 16, very good vintages for Mene. You know, in Santa Steph, they would say the 16 vintage should be better because the 16s and the 14s did better in the north, mm -hmm. and, and the 15s were better in Margot. And, but the, this 15 shows very well. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's 44 dollars so 45 bucks here. That's a lot of wine. 45 And it was interesting. Venice... One of the guys at Venice rated this 94 points. It was a blind tasting. And he goes, here's what he says about this one. The 50 Mayonnaise was the shock of the blind tasting in a positive sense. It blew everyone's expectation, including mine. A very impressive intensity on the nose, more than its peers, with blackberry, raspberry, sage. This is quite complex and very engaging. The palate is very well defined with fine acidity, razor sharp tannin, and plenty of minerality toward the persistent finish. I thought it might be Montrose, but it turned out to be Mayonnaise. Well, you can believe that Montrose is slightly higher than forty-four ninety-nine. <laughs> I mean, we, we, did, we just put into system today about fifteen cases of Morrow's sixteen at two hundred nineteen dollars a bottle. So you know, you this almost, is a good deal. almost get a case, a, a six-pack of this for one bottle of Montrose. Yeah, and it's, it's gorgeous, but it feels like it's got a lot left to give like i would still put this away for another five years yeah yeah it's it's 15 but it's also santa step also mayonnaise tends to make the wines that are a little bit more structured a little bit more tannic and everything yeah, yeah. it's a little bit dry and a little bit tannic on the back i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna drink this now you gotta really double decant it and, yeah and have it with something like you know, i don't know capsule or something cool cool I don't want to say live game because that's, you know, uh, when they, when wines are really tannic, you know, they say live game, but which means you don't eat live game, obviously. This is not, this is not that tannic, but it, no, it's, no. it needs some time. I like it's it. I like Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> so so um, that, that's the you, lineup. That's the lineup. Are you uh, making uh, cassoulet again this year? No, not this year. No, uh, we did, la we did last year. Yeah. Uh, this year we're just doing uh Simple things like duck confit salad and things like that, and and I think crown roast with pork, something like that. That's good. What are you gonna What are you gonna drink? That's the question of the night. I don't know. I, I don't know. Kalinda, Peter, <laughs> no, we're out. I'm sorry. We're out, <laughs> we're out of it. Yeah, <laughs> we're out of it. Um, something old. Does anybody have any questions out there? Pairing questions or Bordeaux questions in general? Thank you all for tuning in. Um, we have a lot of people drop by. So we've got, I'm going to post this and post the list of everything um, that we, we drank tonight. Um, they're, they're, they're all in stock. Yep. Well, they were in stock as of four days ago, but you never know what's happening. If, if some, I, I noticed that Bard O is on an email going out. So yeah. what, what happens there is they usually fly fly out. Yeah. And she's she's got a following, right, with KNL. So I mean, yeah, once we send the email. Yeah. So, so get it, get it when, while you can. Have a merry. I'm feeling festive.
Okay. Bye. Merry everybody. Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas.